Sarah Owen. Thank you, Madam Deputy Speaker. And I totally respect and fully take on board the advice from Mr Speaker's office for conduct in this chamber. But outside this place, thousands of people are struggling to pay their mortgage or afford one home, let alone 17. And they may have found it not declarable, not declarable, but relevant. I'd be grateful for your advice, Madam Deputy Speaker. I'd be grateful. I'd be grateful for your advice. Order. Order. The Honourable Lady has the right to have her say, and don't challenge me. Thank you. I, I'd be grateful, Madam Deputy Speaker, for your advice on how members like myself should respond when the Honourable Member from Sedgefield tells me to, and I quote, shut up in this chamber, where I speak for my constituents, and now he is also attempting to shut me up online as well. What message does this send to women who want to be in politics when they see men like that? Well, maybe. Do, maybe. Did you want to tell me to sit down out there? I do think, the Honourable Gentleman, that is not um, how we want to behave. Just shout, point of order, Sean Bailey. He's just turned around and said, do you want to tell me to sit down out there? Now, I'm pretty sure, to me, that sounds quite threatening, Madam Deputy Speaker. Is that in line with the Code of Conduct of members of this House? Well, I have to say to the Honourable Gentleman that I found his conduct about 30 seconds ago not very courteous. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I think that this has uh, indicated that um, two honourable members have put their points of view on record. I do suggest we leave it at that. That was not a very um, good advert for how, the, how our Parliament should work.